All right. So today, uh, you or your child may have had this RPE, a rapid palatal expander, placed. Um, we're just going to go over some instructions that we likely went over with you already today. Um, so we have this key and the model of the expander. Alicia, do you want to go over? Yes. So it's easiest if you have your child lay down on the couch or on a bed when you're ready to turn the expander. Also having a light present because it is a little bit dark in there. Um, and able to see the holes, the light will help out. Um, when it comes to the key, it does pivot. So, and it also does have a little bend in the key. When you insert the key and start to push it towards the back of the mouth, the key will collapse on itself, making it easier for you to take it out of your child's mouth. When taking it out, it is most important to take it out directly and then take it out of the mouth. If you go to turn the expander and accidentally turn it back partially, that could allow the next hole not to reappear. If you run into this instant, instance, put the key back in and complete the turn from the previous day so that the new hole reappears. So one of the most common um, concerns or issues that we have is um, that hole, that next hole not appearing. Um, so as Alicia discussed, um, you can often find that just by kind of wiggling the key around um, to then find that hole and then turning it completely, completing that turn to then find that next hole. The first few days and maybe after each expansion, um, your child might be a little sore. It's going to feel tight in their mouth. So um, maybe have some softer foods um, available those first few days, some cold foods even. And um, another food that um, kids often struggle with is breads and sandwiches. They tend to get um, kind of stuck up underneath the expander. Fortunately, it's a pretty easy fix. It's not a very hard food. Um, just take some water and swish it around like crazy in there. We gave you some, some tools today and some brushes that should um, allow you to get that bread out. But that is a common issue, so don't feel alone if that does happen. Um, your child may also feel that they are unable to speak clearly or that they have maybe a bit of a lisp. Um, one thing we recommend is go home and as silly as it sounds, read a book out loud, whether it's Cat in the Hat or maybe they're in the middle of a book right now. Just the more they can talk, um, the more their tongue is going to adapt to that new appliance in their mouth. 